I'm here because the other day I was having a conversation with one of my clients and they had asked, you know, model, is it possible to drink too much water? And I don't think it was a question as like a curiosity thing. It was like, it was almost uh, in a, a way saying, it, it, I think I'm drinking too much water. And my uh, response was, it's, it's, it's technically possible to drink too much water, but it's not practically possible. The amount of water you'd have to drink is, is liters upon liters to have any sort of issue. And only the issues to date that were, were sort of uh, recorded was that were people having these water drinking contests. But that's a sign because what, what, what really happened here is that there's people in the industry that are, are operating and talking about these like end ranges of things. And, and they're talking about this little small section of this larger picture. And they're saying, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do squats because it's bad for your knees. And though technically possible that it's bad for your knees, it's not practically possible. For majority of people, it's actually better to be doing squats than to not. It's better to strengthen your, your quads and your legs and your, your hips than it is to not. And the, there are people maybe who have existing injuries that probably need to make an adjustment to the type of squat that they do but it doesn't mean that they abandon it altogether. But, but again, this is a situation where it's technically true, but it's not practically true. It's only true in a very small situation. So, so when someone asks me a question like that, to be totally honest, I have to say, though technically possible, it's not practical. So for most people, squatting is not a bad, like 90, it's not a bad thing. Drinking water, a lot of water, it's not bad. It's very unlikely that it's going to be an issue. Um, and that continues on with, you know, protein and, you know, sleeping a certain amount, et cetera. There's always this, this somebody in the industry talking about, oh, you shouldn't be doing that because of X, Y, and Z. And they're talking about this little, like, small subset of people or this one particular case where it, it might be bad to, to, uh, to sleep um, after 12 rather than before 12. There was a, a thought where you, you're, the best hours of sleep were before 12. And, and in fact, it did not pan out in the science. Uh, but we do operate in a world where it's not practical to sleep later because most people will go to sleep later because most people need to be up and working by 8 or 9 in the morning. So though you might prefer to sleep later and sleep in till like 10, 11 in the morning, the world doesn't operate on that. So technically true, it's bad to start to go to sleep after 12. It's only because in, in practicality, you have to be up at a certain time, right? So we need to make a, a little bit of a distinction here. And I, and I think the problem in this fitness industry, there's people that take these things and they take them to the extreme. Um, there's a guy that talks about always going knees over toes, and there's guys that say never do knees over toes squatting. So the two extreme ends of something where probably it lives a little bit more in the middle. But a lot of times these people are making arguments that are technically based on fact, but not practical and not and not likely to have an influence on the general person. So remember. People out there are trying to make a living because they're trying to become the one person that focuses on this. It's a marketing tactic. And although they're technically correct, they're not practically correct. And for your life, I think it's better to be practical than technical.